The following video contains weather conditions that can potentially be dangerous or even life-threatening. The individuals in this video are experienced with safety in and around waterways and were very cautious when performing the following acts. If we weren't 100% confident in our abilities and our safety, we would not have entered this situation. Please do not repeat anything you see in this video. And remember, no fish is worth putting your safety at risk for. Homes are under threat as floodwaters rise on the east coast. It is cold, wet and it is windy, but this is just a taste of what's to come. We're bracing for extreme weather conditions resembling a Category 1 cyclone. Some waves of up to 7 metres have been recorded off the Gold Coast. The advice, stay away from the water, both at the beach and further inland. Authorities believe we could see up to 300 millimetres of rain across the Gold Coast tonight. Here she comes. Alrighty guys, there's a bit of an east coast low on the way, well it's already here. It's meant to peak at 7 o'clock tonight, but we've already had a lot of rain. So there's a lot of fresh pumping out of this creek. Um, you wouldn't usually get mud crabs here if you just put the pots out, but since there's all this fresh washing them out down the creek, we're going to put some of these out. We've got them in the past, um, so I'm going to quickly paddle out into this, drop them out in the main flow of water. Uh, we got some whiting frames in there, and uh, hopefully we can get a muddy. Yeah, the weather's not looking great at all, so I'll just be quick. Put it in the mouth, Will. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah, put yeah, drop it there. Put the next one just out that way or that a bit. Sorry? We'll put the next one just out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. As long as it's off the drop off. Those are my crab pots. Fingers crossed for a mud crab, eh? Whoa, look at the bloody, it's broken. Right? Feel anything? Nothing. <laughs> oh yeah? Huh? Little bug. Or is it a Jenny? It's a Jenny, even worse. <laughs> We want your big brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
one two oh. bucks. Ah, but do you reckon they're both legal? Yep, another legal. Let me get the measure. Just to make Two bucks. I don't think uh, that might even be through. Oh, that might be a little a buck over there as well. Might be through. Oh no, that's two. What's this one? No, that's, that's a gen. Yeah. Yeah. Two bucks over there. There's definitely one legal one. Yeah. And yeah, we'll have a look. It's definitely we'll a this look. big fella's legal. The rusty one. Yeah, that's the one I want to be legal. <laughs> yeah. Give me the full one. Someone hold the pot. This is the one we've got to measure. Measure between. No. Oh. No. No. Undersized. Undersized. What a bugger. That's alright. See, that just felt tiny, See you later. Oh, now. Oh, what are we doing? Yeah. Right. I just need to lift his core off. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now just tip the jenny. Filming this. Just let me drive it there for a second. There we go. She's gone. Fuck hey! Woohoo! Alrighty, we're back at the campsite. Got some water on, it's starting to, well, just turned it on to boil. Yeah. All right, the water is boiling. Huge thanks to Dane, the neighbor, with his uh, big torch so we can film this video and stuff and cook him up. We're gonna get him in there now. Oh, jeez. So we've uh, got old mate in there, hopefully you can see that. So now all we're going to do is just wait till it starts boiling again and then time 18 minutes, Dad reckons, is a magic number. 17, so, 18. 17, 18. He's cooked more crabs than me in my lifetime, so yeah, anyway, we'll show you when we get it out after that. Alrighty, so uh, we put the crab in the fridge for the night after we cooked it, as you can see, ooh, as you can see there. Um, the weather has turned really bad again, so that's why we're sitting inside. We usually eat it outside because it can be a bit messy and juicy. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get into it. You can't go wrong with some crab sandwiches. I know it's going to just be amazing. I haven't tasted one for ages, so let's get into it. Look at that. Beautiful. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That crab tasted absolutely beautiful. Um, but before we finish, I thought I'd just give you a couple of really quick tips on catching crabs so you can go do it yourself. So firstly, as you saw in this video, after big rain events, when there's a lot of fresh water pumping out of creeks um, and drains and mangroves and things like that, that's when the crabs get washed out of their holes and uh, start to flow out of those creeks and everything like that. So that's when you want to get your pots out and try and intercept them as they're getting washed out. Tip number two, look for a little bit of deeper, uh, faster flowing water. As you saw there, we put it in the mouth of the creek, um, but made sure that it was over the drop off out in the channel. Tip number three, make sure that you have enough rope and that your pots are heavy enough. Otherwise they're gonna get washed away. And finally, fresh bait is always the best. Things like mullet, um, you know, whole legal brim, things like that, um, or what we used was whiting skeletons, um, all work really well. So get out there and do it yourself because those crabs are absolutely beautiful. When you don't get them um, very often and then you finally taste one again, you just sit there shaking your head, they're so good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one, there's plenty more to come, and I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, um, leave a comment about the video, what you thought about it, and leave a like rating as well. Alright, see you next time.